To begin the evening prayer at this time, let us all stand.
ಸತಿಲ್ ನಿನ್ನೋಡ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಅನೀಡಣ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧನಾವನ್ನು ಮರಣವಿಲ್ಲಾದವನೇ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧನಾವನ್ನು ದೇವೇ ನೀ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧನಾವನ್ನು ದೇವೇ ನೀ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧನಾವನ್ನು ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧನಾವನ್ನು Blessed are thou among women, and blessed are for thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O Virgin St. Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and all time, in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May His mercy and compassion be upon us, weak and sinful, in both worlds, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our God, we commemorate to your Mother. and all your saints in your presence protect us by their prayers grant us the grace to imitate their lives and grow in your love as they did we offer our praise and glory honor and thanks giving to you and to your father and to the holy spirit now and always forever more amen
Barakimor, have mercy upon me, O God, in your loving kindness and the abundance of your mercy, blot out my sin. And cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my fault, and my sins are before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and vindicated in your judgment. For I was born in guilt and in sin did my mother conceive me. But you take pleasure in truth, and you have made known to me the secrets of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with your hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Give me the comfort of your joy and gladness, and the bones which have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my faults. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew your steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me your joy and your salvation, and let your glorious spirit sustain me, that I may teach the wicked your way, and sinners may return to you. Deliver me from blood, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue shall praise your justice. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall sing. For you do not take pleasure in sacrifices. By burnt offerings you are not appeased. The sacrifice of God is a humble spirit, a heart that is contrite God will not despise. And shall you be satisfied with sacrifices of truth and with whole burnt offerings? Then shall they offer bullocks upon your altar, and to belongs the praise of God, Barakimah. Glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages, and forevermore. Purye na son, Barakimah, Lord, I have called upon you. Answer me here, receive my word. Let my prayer be like incense in your sight, the offering of my hands like the evening offering. Set a guard, Lord, before my mouth, a guard before my lips, and my heart may not turn to evil words, and I may not do deeds of wickedness. Let me not take all with impious men, let the just man teach me and reprove me. Let not the oil of the impious anoint my head. Because my prayer is ever against their evil doing, their judges are restrained by the side of the rock, and they have heard how gentle are my words. As when a plough cleaves the earth, their bones have been scattered at the mouth of Sheol. I have lifted up my face to you, O Lord, in you have I put my trust. Do not cast away my soul. Keep me from the hand of the proud who have laid snares for me. Let the wicked fall to their nets while I pass on. With my voice I cried to the Lord. With my voice I besought the Lord and poured out my prayer before him. I showed him my affliction when my spirit was troubled, but you know my path. In the way of my walking, they have laid a snare for me. I look to the right and see none that knows me. The way of escape is gone from me, and there is none who cares for my soul. I cried to you, Lord, and said, You are my hope and my portion in the land of the living. Hear my petition, because I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, because they are too strong for me. Lead me forth from prison, that I may give thanks to your name. Your judgment shall have hope when you shall reward me. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and am resolved to keep the judgments of your justice. I am greatly brought, low, Lord. Give me life according to your word. Be pleased with the words of my mouth, Lord, and teach me your judgment. My soul's ever in my hands, and I have not forgotten your law. Sinners have laid snares for me, and I have not strayed from your commands. I shall inherit your testimony forever, because it is dear to my heart. I turn my heart to your commands forever and true. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. For His grace is strong over us, truly the Lord is forever. And to you belongs the praise, O God, Barakimo. Dhrupapadi Savidam Shemavom Shanti Amulanengam Vardhattadinar Sadayam Nikirdatte Sagala Nivasangala Nin Arishatendam 
സ്വപ്നങ്ങളിലേറുന്നു സ്മരണം നിങ്ങൾക്ക പണ്ഡിത വൈദ്യ രോഗാർക്കാർക്കാനധികാരം
sinful servants, Barakimo. Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us
Peace be with you, my dear, for the love of grace. Our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed art thou among women. For word and say, Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us. Parishuddhan Margaika, Pedro Mohyana. Protection of the Most High and glorious shelter of God will say to the Lord. Lord, my trust is in you. God is my refuge in whom I trust. For the Lord shall deliver you from the snare which makes you stumble and from talk of vain things. He will keep you safe under his feathers and you shall be protected beneath his wings. His truth shall enclose you as a You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, the arrow which flies by day. Nor of the word which walks in the darkness, nor of the spirit that destroys at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. But with your eyes alone you shall see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your trust, you have made your dwelling in the heart. Evil shall not come near you, affliction shall not come near your tent. Because he has commanded his angels concerning you, that they should keep you in all your ways. And receive you in their arms that you may not stumble with your foot. You shall tread upon the adder and the basilisk. You shall trample upon the lion and the dragon. Because he has cried to me, says the Lord, I'll deliver him and strengthen him. Because he has known my name, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. I will strengthen him and honor him. I'll satisfy him with length of days and show him my salvation. I have lifted up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and he will not suffer your foot to slip, your guardian will not sleep. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. The Lord is your guardian, the Lord shall shelter you with his right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall guard you from all evil, the Lord shall guard your soul. The Lord shall guard you going out and your coming in, and henceforth and forevermore. 
പക്കലപേക്ഷയണക്കീണം സ്തൗമൻകാല കുറിയലായി സോ അന്നമൾക്കായി ശ്ലോമോദവര ഘോഷിച്ച അതിവകുമാരീച്ചു മറിയം പലുത ഞങ്ങൾക്കായുള്ളർദ്ധനയും ഞങ്ങളിലാർദ്രത തോന്നിട ഏകാത്മജനോടർത്തിക്കൂലിതളിടുമേ ൃതയിലും അവർ തളിരിട്ടു തഴച്ചിടുമേ ഹാലേലോയം വർദ്ധിക്കും അവർക്ക് ദുഷ്ടി പുഷ്ടികളും മാറുക്മോ സ്വലാപോലോലം വാദാമുൽവോലം പതിവിൻപാടി നിൻ ടുകളെ മോശ ഇറൻമാർ ദേവാഗാരി പാറക്കുമോ 
പ്രാർത്ഥനയോട് സംബന്ധിച്ച് നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരെയും ദൈവമായർത്ത വാഴ്ത്തി അനുഗ്രഹിക്ക് മാറാകട്ടെ ദൈവമായർത്താവ് നിങ്ങളെയും വിശ്വാസികളായ നിങ്ങൾ വാങ്ങിപ്പോയരും ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കട്ടെ ബലഹീനങ്ങളും കുറവുകളുമാണ് നമസ്കാരങ്ങളും പ്രാർത്ഥനകളും എൻ്റെ ഉന്നതസിംഹാസനത്തിന് മുമ്പാകെ കേൾക്കപ്പെട്ട അംഗീകരിക്കപ്പെടുമാറാകണമേ അപോറോ കാതീശോ
Did I switch the camera away from the fire? Your Holiness, Your Graces, Holy Fathers, and brothers and sisters in Christ. This is with utmost jubilance and prayer that I stand before you here to celebrate the first apostolic visit of His Holiness Moran Mar Baselios Martoma Matthews the Tridrian to the Northeast American Diocese of the Holy See. My name is Joby John, and I'm one of the council members, and I come from St. Stephen's Midland Park, New Jersey Church. I like to start the proceedings with our U.S. National Anthem, so I ask each one of you to kindly get up so that our wonderful choir could start with the U.S. National Anthem. Wonderful. Thank you. Please be seated. We couldn't have asked for a, one, a better day. What a luck about the rain coming at the back end and for us to be able to finish the wonderful procession. I thank God Almighty for all of this. Thank you for each one of you for being here. And what I'd like to do is move to the more formal proceedings today. And first and foremost, for all the introductions, I'd like to invite Reverend Father B.J. Thomas. Achin is the vicar of St. Baselios Gregorios of North Plainfield Church. So with that, Achin, please come up. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. I have the pleasure of giving the welcome message and welcoming you. And I, as I stand here, uh, I am, I'm, sta you know, I'm, I'm thinking of, of our, our late metropolitans. You know, when Makarios Sermini, late lamented His Grace Thomas Mar Makarios, would begin a message, especially at weddings, he'd begin, I have good news and bad news. Everyone remembers that, right? Well, I, 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 have, uh, I have good news and bad news. Uh, the, the good news is that, uh, well, no, I'll say, I'll, there was, there was, I have bad news, and the bad news is that uh, it rained today. The good news, and so that, that, you know, had a little bit of impact on our beautiful procession. The good news is that, according to our culture, rain is a blessing, right? 
So we have good news and bad news. But then I also think about Barnabas in many, the late lamented His Grace Matthew Smart Barnabas, and his book was called, you remember? Infinite Potentialities. So every moment has infinite potential. And this moment has infinite potential. But as Nicholas is right now very nervous, he is wondering, he told me three minutes for this welcome message, not infinite. So with that, I want to welcome each of our distinguished guests and yourself by using very short words. So for our, our, our main and distinguished guest, our Catholicos of the East and Malankara Metropolitan, I want to describe each of our guests in a certain way. For our, for, for our Catholicos, I will use three words, and for everyone else, I'll use one word. Okay? So for our Catholicos, three words that I would use to describe him, and I think you all agree, diligent, devout, charitable. And so, please welk, uh, uh, help, help me welcome His Holiness, Mar and Mar, Vesalios, Martin and Matthews III. This person is, uh, yes, we have the uh, flowers given at the same time. The next is our own Metropolitan of the Northeast American Diocese, His Grace Zachariah Marnaclos, and I describe him with one word, and I hope you all agree, genuine. Let's welcome our own Metropolitan. A bishop that is familiar to us here in America, uh, in that uh, we've seen him in many ecumenical functions. Uh, he is a person that I've met many times and uh, very uh, blessed to know. A word I would use to describe him is caring, because he's always caring for our community, as Malayali is, as caring for the Christian, uh, Christians of India. I want to welcome the Right Reverend Bishop John C. Itti of the Episcopal Church of America. This person I describe as, and you're going to know, joyful. <laughs> because he always has a smile on his face, and he's always, he's always someone that gives that joy. So I want to welcome the Metropolitan of the Delhi Diocese, His Grace Dr. Yohanan Mar Dimitrios. Dias is someone that we would describe as trailblazing because he's making uh, new moves and bringing our Malayali community in the forefront in the governmental politics. I want to welcome Senator Kevin Thomas. We will have one more guest coming later, um, and I'll wait for you to introduce him, Deputy Counsel General of India, Dr. Varun Jeff. And so with that, I will try to keep, I finish my three minutes. I want to welcome all of you, the very reverend, reverend fathers, the deacons, the seminarians, the sub-managed community members, distinguished guests, friends, and faithful of the Northeast American Diocese. Those who are here, and there's a lot of you here, thank you for coming. And also those who are on our live stream with the COIC team, thank you so much. Let us enjoy the infinite potential of this moment. Welcome. Thank you, Vijay uh, Chin. And now for the uh, presidential address. It's uh, one that you all know. Of course, the one who leads the best diocese in the Holy See, the very own, our own, Nicholas Termini. Glory be to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one to you and God. Amen. Your Holiness, Your Grace, Mount Demetrius, Right Reverend A.T., Senator Kevin, 
very reverend and reverend fathers, dearly beloved brothers and sisters. It is a great joy to welcome our chief shepherd to this diocese. And Joby did the partial introduction, which I was planning to say, I was planning to say to welcome His Holiness to the best diocese in the church. And Dimitrios Sirmene might disagree, but I want to say that we are the best. And it's like Barnava Sirmene used to say, when we say we are the best, not merely that it is not always, might not be true that we are the best, but at the same time, it's a mindset within ourselves that we are striving to be the best. So, as one of the many dioceses under the care of His Holiness, I want to say we are the best and His Holiness can evaluate at the end, but at least we are striving to be the best. He tried to set different parameters and tried to prove that we are the best. And His Holiness is not a person who needs any introduction in this diocese. And it will be audacious for me to introduce His Holiness to this diocese because His Holiness has been visiting us for decades for different reasons and He knows almost every parish in this diocese and a good number of people. When we have conversations, when I mention a name, His Holiness immediately picks it up. Sometimes when His Holiness refers some names to me, sometimes I don't know. So I mean that He, it also says that as the Chief Shepherd, He is a person who knows His people and he, who will be able to call His sheep by name. So knowing the people is key to shepherding because each and every sheep becomes important and each, of, each and every sheep will understand that he or she has a special place in His Holiness' heart. Yesterday, day for yesterday, while we were driving, we were mentioning one sick person Tirmeni said, from, he has been sick for a couple of years, from that day onwards, I have his name in my prayer list and I have been remembering him in my kurvana. So this kind of genuine kindness and care for his sheep is something that we look forward to. As I have told others to keep their speeches in three minutes, I, don't al I also don't want to prolong my speech. And as most of you know that, I don't like long speeches. And Your Holiness, with whole heart joy, this is a great moment in the history of the diocese to welcome your wholeness to this diocese as you begin your wholeness apostolic visit to the diocese. And uh, because this is the first visit, we have a hectic schedule. Many people are disappointed that they were not able to uh, get uh, time with His wholeness. But I promise and uh, His wholeness also has promised that He will visit again in a relaxed time frame, so we all can have more time with His Holiness in a relaxed way. Once again, welcome to your diocese, your Holiness. May God bless us all. Thank you. I think that was quite obvious. Nicola Stillman is way too taller than me, right? Um, from the adjustment that I had to do. Uh, joking aside, uh, thank you, Tirmeni, for a wonderful presidential address. 
Next, I would like to invite the Right Reverend Bishop uh, John C. Itty of the Episcopal Church of America. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your Holiness, right reverend fathers in Christ, my brothers and sisters, members of the distinguished clergy, and friends, what a joy and blessing it is to be again in the midst of so many friends and colleagues and well-wishers. But especially, Your Holiness, I want to give thanks for this diocese because this diocese is led by my friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I just, my friend Nicola Westermary just reminded me um, of a point where we met at General Theological Seminary, and I, I thought back, my goodness, that's been quite a number of years ago. But it has been a wonderful joy to celebrate and be a part of the fellowship and the goodwill of this church family here. And I was so deeply moved and honored to be especially present at Vespers. Because, as I remember, a beloved priest, Father K.M. Simon, who in, I, I believe is 1971, right, celebrated uh, with the Malayali community at Union Theological Seminary, St. James Chapel. And I was part of that fellowship of Orthodox and CSI and Marthoma and Roman Catholic and every other community. So our lives and our faith has been enriched. One of the joys of seeing and participating is the simple act of a procession. It is a wonderful public witness of our faith and belief in the triune God. But it's also important in occasions like this, especially as we live in a time of increasing lack of faith or distrust or secularization. It's not only true in this country, but in India and many places around the world. But today is a day in which we give thanks to God, especially for the leadership of Your Holiness, and also for the common commitment to articulating our faith in this place called the United States. People traditionally have asked, how can I sing the Lord's song in a new or foreign land? And we always find ways of singing the Lord's song with great vigor and gusto and joy wherever we place ourselves. Malantra Orthodox family is especially one rich tradition that needs to continue to be honored. I come from this tradition called Anglicanism, or in Kerala, CSI, or North India CNI. But we share many of the same traditions. And I'm especially moved by the antiphonal responses, the monastic, monastic tradition that this uh, faith community holds so dear. I know I have less than three minutes left, but all I wanted to say is may God's blessings sustain this church family and this community under the leadership of Your Holiness, and may God continue to bless my friend in Christ and my beloved uh, uh, Bishop who was helping me through the liturgy of Vespers uh, this, this evening. And may God continue to bless the many rich friendships that I've acquired and continue to acquire, especially through the members of the clergy whom we have known and been together for many, many decades, and also the wonderful lay leaders of this community. To God be glory and praise. And may God's peace and blessings continue to sustain each one of us, and especially the Malankara Orthodox Church family that it may continue to be a vessel for God's blessing through the instruments of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you, uh, Bishop Eddie, for those very kind words. Next, I would like to invite the Metropolitan of the Delhi Diocese, you all know him well, His Grace Dr. Yuhanon Ma Dimitrios. Your Grace Zachariah Martin Nicolaus, Metropolitan of the Diocese of Northeast America, and presiding over this gathering, Your Holiness Moran Mar Baselios Martuma Matthews III, Malangra Metropolitan and Catholicos, he is Supreme Head of the Malangra Orthodox Syrian Church, Right Reverend Bishop John Itty, Senator Kevin, very Reverend Corepiscopoi, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Deacons, Brothers and Sisters in Christ. I was impressed by what Mar Nicola was said about this diocese striving to be the best. <laughs> so I'm assuming that the best is elsewhere. I have met His Holiness in 1987 when he was Father Mathai. Very soon that became converted to very Reverend Ramban Mathai. Then shortly after that it was His Grace Matthews Marseverios. And now it's His Holiness. And what I have seen as I sat in the sessions of the Synod is that there seems to be a sea change between His Grace Dr. Matthew Smart Severios and His Holiness Moran Mar Baselios Martoma III. And I, within the time that I'm allotted, I, let me say there is a crying need for orthodoxy to become relevant, not just for us, but for the successive generations that have grown up in this country. And so when we accord a reception to His Holiness, it is not only an indication of our loyalty and love for the Catholicos, but also it is a testimony for our commitment and our loyalty to the faith that was handed down to us by our fathers and mothers. And as I look at His Holiness and see the leadership that He is providing, I look and see a glimpse of a rather bright and brilliant future for the church because His Holiness is trying to make valid and relevant through His actions and that on the emphasis of the church of what is orthodoxy. And as His Holiness takes up the responsibility of leading this ancient but living church, I pray that God will bountifully shower His Holiness with every blessing to lead this church into yet another glorious future. May God bless us all and thank you all for this opportunity to participate in this reception. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Miltio Sirmeni. Really appreciate uh, the, the view on orthodoxy and, and, and the deep insights you gave us on His Holiness as well. Uh, next, I'd like to invite uh, Senator Kevin Thomas. Um, he is one among us. He's one among all of you. So I don't think I, he needs any different introduction than that. So please come up. Good evening, everyone. I want to, uh, first of all, welcome His Holiness and the Metropolitans to my district. Uh, I don't know uh, if every day uh, His Holiness gets to come to America, especially to a Malayali senator's district, so welcome. <laughs> and to everyone here in Levittown, as you know, uh, you know, this is my hometown. I live just a mile away, so when I was invited to this, I uh, cleared a couple of my events that I have after this because I know how long uh, any uh, Malayali event will take uh, to make sure I was here. Um, as you know, I have a very erratic schedule. Just yesterday, I was in and out of eight events. Today, I had six. 
and uh, my family always complains that uh, I don't go to uh, Pali enough. And I tell them, look at my schedule. This morning, I was at St. Paul's AME Church celebrating their 99th anniversary. Yesterday, I was at Salem Martoma Church's badminton tournament. And right now, I'm here. They said this doesn't count. <laughs> I cannot go on official trips to Pali and say I'm going to Pali. So uh, I have to take one of those days off and go to Pali, sit in the back somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be up here at the altar <laughs> as I am today. But I am so, so happy to see you. I am so happy to just be part of this community. Even when I go to other churches, I talk about our strong Christian community. I tell them the story of Vasco da Gama, the first European to come to India, to Kerala, to touch upon our land. He steps onto our land and says, I bring Christianity and all these goods. And the locals there turned and said, we've got seven churches here already. All right, that's how strong our community is. And I'm incredibly proud to see our community grow here in New York and across the United States. And I'm so proud to represent you, even if you uh, might not live in my district. So I will cut that short. I'm sure it's three minutes now. <laughs> I do have a proclamation here from the New York State Senate honoring St. Thomas Orthodox Church. So uh, please, if anyone would like to uh, accept it, uh, <laughs> Thank you, uh, Senator Kevin, but I, I do have a correction for you. You did say, rightfully, and I agree with you most of the time, that in general, our functions run way too late. I think we are proud to tell you today our function is running way too early. <laughs> and that may be an exception, but that I, I, I've never seen that happen before, but we're definitely running early today, so that's fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, joking aside, I'd like to next invite uh, Father M.K. Kuriakos, uh, Father M.K. Kuriakos is representing not only the clergy of our church here, but also all of our religious organizations. Glory be to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, of our true God. Amen. Dear Your Holiness, your graces, the distinguished guests, very reverend and reverend clergy, and the faithful. I am representing the entire diocese on behalf of the spiritual organizations and the clergy fellowship, especially because the secretary of the Clergy Fellowship, Reverend Father Shibu Daniel is not able to come to this meeting. I'm so glad to see that two of the Metropolitans contesting each other, and uh, I have to support my Metropolitan, not because I'm afraid of transfer, but because I want to say the truth, please go through the Catholicate Collection Report, which is very clear. The Northeast American Diocese has been contributing the largest amount all the time. <laughs> Being that is a side matter, I am so delighted that our Baba Tribeni, the very first year he could visit us and gave us such a great opportunity to receive His Holiness' blessings. 
I had two opportunities to speak with Baba Dhrimeni in this year. And I knew here is the person who builds relationship unconditionally. What I'm saying is absolutely true. The relationship that Tirumeni built during Tirumeni's tenure at the country and West Diocese <laughs> continues and even his world has become the primate of the Malangara Orthodox Syrian Church. That caliber has been very truly and strongly maintained. We the clergy and the people want to wish our own Baba Dirbeni all the best and we every Sunday pray for Baba Dirbeni and Nikola Dirbeni and that means a lot to us and we therefore also seek the prayers of our Baba Dirbeni and of course our Metropolitan as well. Paulus Mark Gregorius Metropolitan, guru of almost all of us here, clergy, including His Holiness, in the liturgical class, referred to the position of the bishop and told us two things. One was that the Metropolitan has a sacramental character. And we did not understand what it meant to be a sacramental character. And so, later on when we learned about the sacraments, we knew when the physical presence of the bishop is very symbolic of the physical presence of Jesus as himself. And so we are blessed and we, on behalf of all the clergy, and all the faithful wishing Baba Dhrimeni good health and cheer and a continued trip back home under the great guidance and surveillance of our Almighty God. And praise be to Him, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one true God. Amen. Thank you, uh, Kuriyako Sachin. So next, um, little, little change. Um, uh, on behalf of the managing committee, um, I like to call Shaji Varghese. Uh, so the managing committee members of our church, including Shaji Varghese, are, um, of course, Binu Kupara, uh, KG Uman, as well as from the clergy, it's uh, Reverend Father Blessin Varghese. So on behalf of the managing committee, I'd like to invite uh, Shaji to kindly come forward. Respected His Grace Sakriya Mar Nicholas, Respected His Grace Yuhanon Mar Dimitrios, Honorable Senator Kevin Thomas, Bishop John C. D. Respected Dear Managing Committee members, Council members, Respected Corpiscopos, Respected Reverend Fathers, Respected Deacons, Sneham Ullavari, Valare Adhigam Sandosha Thodum, Adilayare Abhimana Thodum Goodyana, Inna Nyan Nengalda Bumbaga Nilkundu. Malangara Savayuda Paramadhyashan, Marthoma Yuda Pingami, Parishuddha Baselios, Marthoma, Matthews, Tridian Bava, in the Northeast American Badrasana Tleke Katano and Rigiana, Northeast American Badrasana, in the Anigri Kipitrikino, Parishuddha Bava the Remaining Pity, Onalo Jijal, Namukh Karnavan Sadigim, Endavan Siladi Modi at another, Patani Pavangal Kendum Tunei, 
രോഗികൾ ദുഃഖിതർ കാലംബമായി കാതോലിക്ക മംഗളഗാനത്തിലെ രണ്ടു വരികളാണ് സ്വന്തം ജീവിതം കൊണ്ട് ഇത് പ്രാവർത്തികമാക്കി കാണിച്ച ഒരു വലിയ പിതാവാണ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ മധ്യയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഏകദേശം പതിനേഴോളം ചാരിറ്റി പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ ജീവകാരുണ്യ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ പരിശുദ്ധ ഭാവ നേരിട്ട് നടത്തുന്നുണ്ട് എത്ര പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ നടത്തി എന്നുള്ളതല്ല അതെല്ലാം ഭംഗിയായി നടക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഏറ്റവും പുതിയതായി പരിശുദ്ധ ബാവാദിർമ്മിയുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ നടത്തുന്നതാണ് സഹോദരൻ പദ്ധതി മുൻഗാമിയായ പരിശുദ്ധ ബസേലിയോസ് മാർത്തോമ പൗലൂസ് ദിതിയൻ ബാവായുടെ പാവന സ്മരണയ്ക്ക് വേണ്ടി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത പദ്ധതിയാണ് പരിശുദ്ധ ബാവാദിർമേനി വളരെ സഭയ്ക്ക് വളരെയേറെ പ്രയാസമുള്ള ഒരു ഘട്ടത്തിലാണ് ഈ സ്ഥാനം ഏറ്റെടുത്തത് അതിനുശേഷം രണ്ട് മലങ്കര സുറിയാനി ക്രിസ്ത്യാനി അസോസിയേഷൻ നടത്തി അതിനുശേഷം മലങ്കര അസോസിയേഷൻ മാനേജിംഗ് കമ്മിറ്റി യോഗം നടത്തി അതിനുശേഷം ഏഴ് മെത്രാ മെത്രാപോലീത്തന്മാരെ വാഴിച്ചു ഈ ചുരുങ്ങിയ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഒരു മലങ്കര മെത്രാപോലീത്ത ചെയ്യേണ്ടതായ എല്ലാ കടമകളും ചെയ്തു തീർത്തു പരമകാരുണ്യവാനായി ദൈവം പരിശുദ്ധ ബാവാദരുമേനിക്ക് എല്ലാവിധ ആശിഷ് അനുഗ്രഹവും ദീർഘായുസും നൽകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു പരിശുദ്ധനായ വട്ടശ്ശേരി തിരുമേനി ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു അന്ത്യകൽപ്പനയിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ പറഞ്ഞു കാതോലിക്ക യജ്ഞനെ നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ണിലെ കൃഷ്ണമണി പോലെ സൂക്ഷിക്കണമെന്ന് പരിശുദ്ധ സഭ നേരിടുന്ന വെല്ലുവിളികൾ അനേകമാണ് എന്ന് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനേഴിലെ സുപ്രീം കോടതി വിധി നടപ്പിലാക്കി എടുക്കുവാൻ സഭ ഏറെ പാടുപെടുന്നു അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സഭയെയും സഭാപിതാക്കന്മാരെയും നവമാധ്യമങ്ങളിലൂടെ തേജോവധം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നു ഓരോ മലങ്കര നസ്രാണികളുടെ ചുമതലയാണ് ഇതിനെയെല്ലാം ഇതിനെതിരെ എല്ലാം പ്രതികരിക്കേണ്ടത് മാർത്തോമായുടെ മക്കളെന്ന നിലയിൽ നാം ഒറ്റക്കെട്ടായിട്ട് നിന്ന് ഈ ശ്രമങ്ങളെയെല്ലാം അടിച്ചു തോൽപ്പിക്കണം പരിശുദ്ധ സഭയോടും മാർത്തോമ സിംഹാസനത്തിനോടും നോർത്ത് ഈസ്റ്റ് അമേരിക്കൻ ഭദ്രാസനത്തിലെ ജനങ്ങളുടെ കൂറും ഭക്തിയും ആദരവും അർപ്പിക്കുവാൻ ഞാൻ ഈ അവസരം വിനിയോഗിക്കുകയാണ് കാതോലിക്ക സിംഹാസനം നീണാൽ വാഴട്ടെ മോഹൻമാർ വസേലിയോസ് മാർത്തോമ മാത്യൂസ് തൃതിയൻ ബാവായ്ക്ക് എല്ലാവിധ ആയുസും ആരോഗ്യവും നൽകി ഈ ഈ സഭയെ നയിക്കുവാനുള്ള ശക്തി നൽകട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എന്റെ വാക്കുകൾ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുന്നു We have, uh, thank you Shaji Vergis for a wonderful message and giving that passion that we all need uh, as we welcome our beloved uh, uh, primate of our church to, uh, to our diocese. We have a, another distinguished guest that has uh, joined the diocese and I want to make sure that we welcome him properly, uh, Dr. Varun Jeff. Uh, he is the Deputy Consul General of India in, uh, in New York. Um, To Dr. Varun, you, you missed my introduction before. Uh, I was trying to keep it short, uh, so I was giving everyone one-word descriptions for the, who, who they are, and I created a word for you, and that is globetrotter. Uh, and that is because as a medical graduate, Dr. Varun Jeff is a career diplomat with over a decade of experience in the Indian Foreign Service. He has served in different capacities in the Indian Embassy in Myanmar and in the Indian High Commission in Malaysia. In between his overseas assignments, Dr. Varun Jeff serves in New Delhi uh, at the Ministry of External Affairs and was involved in the administration and human, res uh, human resource management of India's diplomatic corp. He joined the Consul General of, Indian, uh, of, of India in New York in September of 2021. Now, Dr. Varun Jeff got the benefit because he got, came late, so he not only got one word, He got a whole biography uh, because I was trying to keep within three minutes. But I did tell you that rain has a blessing and that rain, it looks, seems, has turned the blessing that has created a miracle that a Malayali function is running ahead of schedule. So with that, I want to welcome Dr. Varun Jeff to give us a, a word. Thank you for that gracious introduction. One community if could be counted to be running ahead of time. It is the Malayali community. <laughs> His Holiness Basilos Mathoma Matthew III. His Grace Zakaria Mas Nikolovas. Bishops, Honorable Senator, members of Mathoma Church, 
Northeastern American diocese, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great delight for me to join all of you in extending a warm welcome to New York, to His Holiness, His Holiness on the first apostolic visit to this church after his enthronement recently. What makes his visit even more special for us at the consulate is that it comes when we are celebrating 75th year of India's independence, when we are also celebrating 75 years of establishment of formal diplomatic relations between India and the United States. It is in the blissful experience for me to join you all in this beautiful church in the gracious presence of His Holiness. It is a privilege because Mathoma Church is associated with 2,000-year-old history of the coming in of Christianity to the shores of India, of its growth, its spread, not just in Kerala, not just in India, but in the Indian subcontinent. We are also very proud because this church also represents three million Christian, Indian Christian diaspora spread across the, across the world, and 50,000 of whom are in the United States, 20,000 of whom are related and associated with this diocese. These are the living bridge between our two countries, the oldest democracy in the world and the largest democracy. Kerala, with which many of you associate, or rather most of you associate with, it has had proud history of 14 centuries of peaceful coexistence between three, among three of the major religions of India, Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. And all the religions, they have been there in peace, in harmony, with respecting each other's beliefs, and in cooperating in promoting social welfare. And a critical role in achieving this is being played by the Mathoma Church. I would like to extend our deepest appreciation to the church for its enduring contribution and great service to the community, to society, and indeed to humanity. Under His Holiness's leadership, the efforts to educate the youth, to empower women, and to extend services to those in need of healthcare attention is indeed, indeed commendable. His Holiness's initiative of Sahodaran, where financial assistance is given out to people irrespective of their beliefs, irrespective of their faith, is something that I am not only hopeful, but I am confident that people cutting across faith would join in and make it more successful. I would like to make a mention about the Malayali diaspora here. You have made remarkable achievements in this country and played a crucial role in growth and prosperity in development of India, or rather the new India as we call it. This is one diaspora for which it is said that sun never sets. From New York to London, to the Middle East, to Singapore, to Sydney. It is often quoted that the homes in many Kerala households, they have many clocks, wall clocks in their homes because they have members spread across the world. And in the consulate, we are committed to welfare, well-being of the Indian American diaspora, of the Malayali community that we have here today. We have taken many initiatives to make and extend consular services to you. We have been celebrating the Malayalam language, the culture. We recently celebrated Onam in the consulate, and we look forward to host you at the Christmas celebrations later in the year. Without taking much time, I would like to quote Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. We are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepares in advance for us to do. So let us serve others, let us serve humanity, so that we serve the God himself. Let us come together for the betterment of this society, the betterment of our countries, the betterment of the world, so that we leave a better planet for the future generation. I thank you all for your attention, for your time, Nani. Dr. 
Arun Jeff, uh, you, you touched us all. You touched us all in, in a few different ways. You touched us, one, from making us feel at home, in the sense of we all come from that Indian community and that Indian breath. So you made us feel like we just came from India and you gave us, gave, gave us that touch. You also made us feel very partly welcome of the great religious flavors that exist in India and how welcome we are as part of that. And most importantly, as part of the church, you're differentiated among all the churches, the Orthodox Church, and we really appreciate you getting into a deep dive and offering those kind words across the board. So thank you once again. So now for the moment we all have been waiting for, um, our guest of honor, the very own our, uh, you know, uh, His Holiness, I'd like to invite him kindly to the stage to offer a few words. Most respected Nikola Vasirimeni, the president of this meeting, His Grace Madhimetrius, and the distinguished guests who are on the dais, and also the priests and beloved faithful of the church. Usually, after the reception welcome meeting, everyone after his speech will disappear from the dais. But here is it a, it is a pity that they are all staying here. So I have to address each and every one of them. Usually I speak sitting, when the people are sitting in the crowd. But you are all seated in the chairs and nobody can see me. Since I am not tall enough to be seen. So I preferred even Nikola Ostirimeni asked me to speak sitting. He can speak. <laughs> I know, but I cannot. That is why I am standing here. First of all, I congratulate. Mar Nicola was the Northeast American Diocese Secretary, and all the managing committee members and uh, diocesan council convening this great and miraculous reception meeting. Of course, Northeast Diocese. Even if it is, it is not, or it has, no, uh, it does not publish how many, or how will be, or what will be the amount of Catholic day collection. I say, it is one of the best dioceses of the church, as well as the diocese of Delhi. Because I have to meet with Dimitrios Tirimeni frequently than Nicola was Tirimeni. <laughs> we were together in the seminary teaching, and now he has 
opted for the early diocese. And it is very blessing that he came over here at this reception. Not only this, in the morning there was, in the uh, last evening, the reception by the Bronx Pali and uh, its jubilee celebrations. It's a blessing that this time he is with us. Thank you very much, our distinguished guests. So some of them are Malayalis living here, and others are uh, some way or other related to us. It is a great joy to be with you. Because after many receptions, the last 11 months. Now the next October 15th will be my first anniversary on the throne of Catholicus. So before that, hundreds of receptions were uh, there in, the, in Kerala as well as outside Kerala and outside India. I am happy to see that our church members are very glad to see the progress of the church. They have many good ideas. I know that even from the beginning of my enthronement, I was getting so many messages In all of them, they congratulate me first. Then they are giving very valuable advices and also explaining their visions of the church in the future. I have consolidated all these messages and also the visions of our faithful. So in the last work committee, we have made a 30 year plan for the future of our church. Why 30 year? Because in 2052, it will be the 2000th birthday of Malangara Orthodox Church in Kerala. Randairam Janmadinam Akushikinna Randairithi Ambatrinda in the Parimbo. Our East Sabe and Thairi Kanavan Nuladine Kuriche Namukuri Vishanaman. Adine Kurija Namukuru Thalperi Mundavana. We have many problems. We have many limitations. But we have to strive for our ideas to be implemented in this world. May I take one verse, the half of a verse, from St. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Go in make disciples of all the nations. Two aspects are there. Make disciples all the, all the nations. So our call and mission is a global reality. We cannot limit ourselves to a certain area or locality, or to a certain people of any tribe. The church should include all nations. I think it is the meaning of the Greek word Catholic. Catholic goes on the Varena than a Oduinda Vidava Navare, Malayalatil. So we are yet to work for better for all the nations so that all should come 
the, as the disciples of Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean that they are all baptized. They, are, they may be baptized. We have to communicate our mission to be so that they are baptized. But even not, we, have, we cannot avoid them from the wider circle of the church. Because Jesus Christ has instructed us, go and make disciples of all nations. When uh, Solomon was praying at the dedication of the first temple of Jerusalem, he had three supplications to uh, uh, submitted to God. And the third one, first two are concerning the Jews. And the third one was that if anybody who are not a Jew or anybody from the Gentile come and pray in this temple, you must hear their words and uh, respond to them. So the Jerusalem temple was also built in a global vision and mission. It is directed by God himself. And the same thing Jesus Christ says when he was entering the temple on the day of the Hosanna, recollecting the words of, from Isaiah and Jeremiah. This temple is my Lord's temple, and this is for all nations. This temple is my Father's temple, and this is for all nations. So, the Catholicity of the Church includes not only the faith, not only the, the uh, fullness of the faith, but also the fullness of all people living in the world. So our vision should be a global vision. We have to find a global understanding of manhood and humanity. We have to aim at a universal brotherhood. That universal brotherhood means sharing and caring whatever you have with your brothers. That is what Jesus Christ instructed us and that is what the first century Christians practiced. Because of our selfishness and because of our, uh, our greed, it failed. It failed for uh, later uh, centuries. Even now, I don't know how many of us can absorb the idea that all possessions which we have belong also to the others. What is necessary or uh, necessary for each and everyone's living, the rest belongs to others. And there we have the very understanding of universal brotherhood. I think it is to be it is to be communicated, and all the faithful Christians, irrespective of denominations, and all the faithful religions, irrespective of their caste or creed. Let us all worship together. You worship with your, your understanding and your denomination, your identity. There is no barring in keeping one's own identity in worship or faith. But we have to unite for one thing. We, all the religions, all the faithful, all the Christians, we have to unite for 
establishing a universal brotherhood in this world. It is for which we are called to this world. We can leave everything in this world. We have received many things from God. What we have is to share with the people who are afflicted, the people who are marginalized, the people who are depressed or downtrodden. But we have to take it seriously into our mind. And thereby, if we can, by the God's grace, according to St. Paul, we can do everything by God's grace. So, we have to rethink it. Now we are not ready to accept this idea, I know. But we have to rethink it. We have to meditate on it. And we have to find that that is establishing the universal brotherhood in caring, caring and sharing is the call from Jesus Christ. Not only that, it is also the call from all the religions of the world. There is no religion which is not teaching love. Where everybody teaches love. But love extends. That love extends if it is um, an agape, unconditional love. When it extends to all the limits of the world, it is limitless. There we have to find a new reality and we have to strive for that. If we have a mind, if there is a will, there is a way, everybody says, like that. So, let me quote one word only from Marcus Ward, one of the, one of the founder, founder uh, teachers of Sarambar University. Expect great things from God and attempt great things for God. Let that be our vision and mission. Thank you all for all the good wishes and receptions and everything. God bless you all. Dear Tirmini, um, we're all here because, as you know, we love your holiness as an individual. And above all, we also are in love and pledged to the Catholicos and the throne of St. Thomas. So we are absolutely privileged and gracious for your highness being here and being with us and for us to be able to attend this ceremony with your highness. So thank you again. So uh, next, I'd like to pivot to an administrative uh, piece of the function. Uh, I'd like to call upon uh, Reverend Father Dr. Varghese M. Daniel, and um, this is around the Catholic Day collections. So as Varghese Daniel Achen goes through the different churches, what would be great is if the vicar of that church, as well as the members attending from the church, could kindly stand up, uh, get the recognition, and um, so we'll go through those churches. I think that would be wonderful if we could make that happen. So Achen will go through a, a, a process church by church. Thank you. Glory be to the triune God, your holiness, your graces, distinguished guests, and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I would like to finish in three minutes. <laughs> but I have to read more than 56 churches. The Catholic Day Collection, as you know that the main source for our church and different projects of the church, including 
the charitable activities of the church as a diocese of caring and care we were able to collect a good amount i would like to say at the end um i just want to read one by one so as you be said if you can stand up there it will be great albany st paul's church i'm going to read only the 2022 catholic day collection albany st paul's 2100 okay baltimore st thomas 2980 ben salem 9000 375 bronze st mary's 10000 myself clifton st gregorios 1500 damascus st thomas 2300 mount olive 1000 drexel hill Pennsylvania sent 5700 Richfield New Jersey St George 1000 Dutchess County St Gregorius 1100 Fairless Hills Pennsylvania St George 7900 Floral Park St Gregorius 9800 Franklin Square St Basil 9500 Hamilton I mean, uh, Hartford uh, Connecticut St Thomas 2300 Jackson Heights St Mary's 5000 Levittown St Thomas Church 7250 Linden St Mary's 3100 Long Island St Stephen's 6100 Boston St Mary's 7890 Midland Park St Stephen's 8000 Mississauga St Gregorio's Professional Court 1362 Mississauga Canada St Gregorio's Lake Shore 3064 this is a US dollar so their um, um their actual amount is uh, 4500 Canadian dollar North Carolina uh, St Gregorio's 2500 North Plainfield St Basilios Gregorios 4700 Orange Book St John's 6500 Philadelphia St Luke 2700 Philadelphia St Mary's Orthodox Church 5000 St um Philadelphia's Mary's okay Philadelphia St Thomas and True 23115 Porchester St George 9825 Ridgewood San Basilio's 3710 Rochester 1200 Silver Spring Washington DC San Gregorio's 8500 Silver Spring St Thomas 3229 Staten Island St George 5000 Staten Island St Mary's 2000 Staten Island Mar Gregorios 2215 Suffern St Mary's 7500 
Syracuse, St. Thomas, 750. Tappan, St. Peter and St. Paul's, 1,500. Toronto, Canada, St. Thomas, 1,750. Valley Cottage, New York, St. Mary's, 2,100. Valley Stream, St. Gregorio's, 9,000. West Seville, St. Mary's, 8,000. White Plains, St. Mary's, 3,750. Yonkers, St. Gregorio's, Redlow Street, 4,400. Yonkers, St. Gregorio's, Park Hill Avenue, 5,400. Yonkers, St. Thomas, 10,100. Belrose, New York, St. John's, 4,400. Long Island, St. Andrew, 2,700. Rockland, St. Tecla, 2,000. If I miss anybody, please let me know uh, so I can add it here. Okay, total, it is... Uh, so this year, it is $255,697. And if we are adding 2021 20, arrears, and also 2020 arrears. In total, we got in $301,173. I was trying to convert the dollar into Indian rupee. rupees. I would like to invite our Diocesan Metropolitan to give this one. And, uh, I would like to call all the Diocesan Council members, Managing Committee members, you can come forward. I would like to extend our sincere thanks to all the clergy members and all the members of this uh, diocese for this great contribution to our Catholic. Collection day target Patu Riva Collecti and other Adele Angelona Northeast Diocese in the Gitti and all the other Sandoshi Delhi Diocese with a Thunder Tilla, Baki Tari Baki Avery Purti Riki and Nana de Vijay. Abiyonia, Nicola, Sirimeni, 
ചിലരെയൊക്കെ പേര് വിളിച്ചപ്പോൾ തിരുമേനി അവിടെ നിന്ന് പറയുന്നുണ്ടായിരുന്നു കുറഞ്ഞു പോയി കുറഞ്ഞു പോയി എന്ന് ഞാനന്നേരം ഓർത്തു നീതി സാരത്തിൽ അനേക സംസ്കൃത ശ്ലോകങ്ങളാണ് നീതി സാരത്തിനകത്ത് ഒരു ശ്ലോകത്തിൽ പറയുന്നത് പട്ടിയിൽ നിന്ന് പഠിക്കാനുള്ളതായിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഗുണപാഠം അല്പത്തിനാലും അധികത്തിനാലും സന്തോഷിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് പട്ടിക്ക് ഒരു എല്ലുങ്കഷ്ണ ഇട്ട് കൊടുത്താലും അത് വാലാട്ടും പത്തല്ല് കഷ്ണം ഒരുമിച്ചിട്ടാലും അതേ വാലാട്ടമാണ് അല്പത്തിലാലും അധികത്തിലാലും സന്തോഷിക്കുന്നു തിരുമേനി പറഞ്ഞു ഇനി കുറച്ച് കിട്ടാനുണ്ട് അതെല്ലാം കുറകാലെ കിട്ടുന്നതാണ് തിരുമേനി ഒന്നുകൂടെ വരണമെങ്കിലും ഞാൻ വരാം അത് കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ ഒരുമിച്ച് തന്നാൽ വളരെ സന്തോഷമാണ് ഈ വർഷം വർക്കിംഗ് കമ്മിറ്റിയും ഒക്കെ കൂടിയപ്പോൾ ഈ പത്ത് കോടി ടാർജറ്റ് കഴിഞ്ഞ കോവിഡിന് മുമ്പ് നമ്മൾ ഒൻപത് കോടി അധികം കളക്റ്റ് ചെയ്തു അത് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോഴാണ് കോവിഡ് വന്ന് അത് അഞ്ച് കോടിയിൽ മിച്ചമായി കുറഞ്ഞു പോയി രണ്ട് വർഷമായി ഈ വർഷം എങ്ങനെയാണത് പത്ത് കോടിയിൽ എത്തിക്കുന്നതെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ അവരോടൊരു വാക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു ഈ വർഷം ഏതായിരുന്നാലും പത്ത് കോടി എത്തിയിരിക്കും അത് ഞാൻ അമേരിക്കയ്ക്ക് വരുന്നുണ്ടെന്നുള്ളത് ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ട് പറഞ്ഞതാണ് ഏതായിരുന്നാലും അത് അസ്ഥാനത്തായില്ല നിങ്ങളുടെ വലിയ ആ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ വലിയ സഹകരണത്തിന് പ്രത്യേകമായി നന്ദി അറിയിക്കുന്നു തരാത്ത പള്ളികളെ നേരിട്ട് ഞാൻ വിളിക്കുന്നതാണ് എന്നുള്ള കാര്യം അറിയും Lastly, uh, on behalf of the Diocesan Council of us, we, I'd like to invite uh, Umen Kapil to uh, give the vote of thanks. And while, uh, uh, while Umen's uh, talking, two things uh, just as a reminder. One, there'll be a Kaduriga Mangalaganam right after this. And also, for every one of you here, we have dinner prepared. So please don't leave. There's time. And again, like I said, we're running ahead of time. So please uh, stay with us. And uh, it, will be, it will be fantastic. Thank you. Your Holiness, Your Graces, Distinguished Guests, Reverend Corpiscopos, Reverend Fathers, Deacons, and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a blessed day for our diocese because we are honored and blessed by the Catholicos and Supreme Head of our, our Church, thanking the Lord Almighty for His blessings. It is a great time to be a member of our Church. Since, during a short time since uh, Bhavadri Minister's enthronement, His Holiness was able to bring the focus to the, true, to the true mission of our Church, which is sharing the love of Christ with, with actions of human touch and compassion. Thank you, Bhavadri Mini, for your vision and mission and for inspiring the young and the old of our Church. On behalf of the... On behalf of the Northeast American Diocese, I express my sincere thanks to Your Holiness for your visit and blessing. This is uh, Sakrayamar Nicholas Metropolitan, is our spiritual father and head of our diocese. Thank you, Thirmeni, for your timely guidance and leadership to our diocese. Right Reverend John C. Itty is the head of the Episcopal Church of America. Beyond that, Reverend Bishop is a good friend of our diocese. Thank you, Father, for, your, for honoring our, um, with the, us with your presence and for your kind words. His Grace, Yohannan Mar, Demetrius Metropolitan, has been 
part of our diocese to some extent and a strong supporter. Thank you, Trimeni, for your presence and for felicitating our Baba Trimeni. Senator Kevin Thomas brings honor and dignity to the constituents and Indian community in particular due to his leadership and service. Today, he honored our Baba Trimeni and our church by his presence and kind words. Thank you, Senator, for coming over on a very short notice and in spite of your busy schedule. I also thank Mr. Ajit Kochu, who is the liaison to the Senator for coming over today. Dr. Varun Jeff is the Honorable Deputy Consul General of India. As a senior official of the largest democracy in the world, he has a busy schedule, yet he came down here to felicitate our superb. Thank you, Honorable Dr. Jeff, for your kind words and your professional gesture. Special thanks to Reverend Father M. K. Kuriakos for felicitating Our Holiness representing the clergy and all the spiritual organizations. I take this opportunity to thank Mr. Shaji Varis, who is the Managing Committee member who also felicitated our Baba Trimeni. As you can imagine, a lot of committees and individuals have been working together for the past few weeks to organize this event. Due to time constraints, I won't be able to mention all the names, but I still have to mention a few. The choir was led by Mr. Joseph Papen, Reggie, on behalf of the Indian Orthodox Churches of Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island. I thank the team for your beautiful rendition during the procession and in the meeting. As you know, Chandamalam is an integral part of our culture and every procession. I thank the team from this parish for using their skills for the excellent performance. Today, live streaming was provided by Christian Media Channel, a media platform of the Coptic Orthodox Church. The group is led by Dr. Hari, Dr. Haini Ashmella, who is the managing director of the channel. You can see the team members here. I thank you all for coming over and providing this great service. We have several photographers, A.B. David, Bipin Matthew, Josh Abraham team, and I thank you for your service. Media coverage is provided by Malayala Manorama team, who is here today, and several other channels are here. They have been covering our news for the last few days, and they continue to support our diocese. I thank everyone for your kind service and timely service and broadcasting and sharing the news of the, our diocese. Special thanks to Mr. George Sumbail, my friend, for working with me and for your dedication to send the news to the media in a timely and professional manner. No meeting is effective without the participation of the public. Thank you everyone for coming from far and near, from parishes in Canada to Washington, D.C. and elsewhere. Please continue to support the diocesan events. Thank you again for coming over today. <laughs> Special thanks to the host parish for opening your door for us to assemble here today. You decorated this place, you managed the traffic, arranged food, snacks and drinks, and took care of the rest of us. Thank you, Father Rebbe George, who is the Vaigar, for your leadership. <laughs> the Treasurer, Secretary, Managing Committee members, and a lot of volunteers for making this possible. And uh, I can tell you that uh, I can think about most reverend, uh, respected Johanna Shankar, the Corpus Corp of Blessed Memories. He must be smiling from above today, seeing what all you have done today for the church. A lot of committees were in work for the past few weeks, managing committee members. I would like to thank the Diocesan Secretary, Reverend Dr. Varisam Daniel, my fellow council members, Reverend Father Shib uh, V.M. Shibu, Reverend Father Vijay Thomas, Mr. Joby John, Mr. Shane Umman, Mr. Bijo Thomas, and the managing com committee members, Reverend Father Blessen Varghese, who came all the way from Canada. Mr. Shaji Varghese, Mr. K.G. Umman, for the small and big things you have done during the past few weeks. Um, Shane Umman has been the primary person who coordinated a lot of things together with the parish. <laughs> a special word of thanks to Bijo Thomas for coordinating the procession and many, many other things. <laughs> and Joe Bijon for doing an excellent job today as the master of ceremonies. Once again, thank you all, your presence, continued support for the diocese. Let us uphold each other in our prayers. May God bless us all.
So we have formally concluded our session. We would end with the Katholika Mangalaganam. So if I could kindly ask you to all get up. And after that, we will disperse with a kaimut. Um, and, and I will have special instructions for each one of you on how to go proceed for the food. So, so you'll have to bear with me for one more minute after that. So, um, I have a huge favor to ask. There are two ways to get food. I know many of you have traveled for hours to get here, so we do have boxed food also available for those who cannot stay and have to leave right away. So if you want boxed food, as you come out to do the my the biggest favor I'll ask is people on the men's side, please make sure you exit through your left, my right, and the